Well, hi there, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm a little late with my giveaway. Um, I was supposed to draw this on the evening of the 5th, but I was still away and recovering from Beltane celebrations, so it didn't happen. So I apologize for that, but I'm here now, and I'm ready to rock and roll. And I think that... Uh, I would like to just say thank you for those of you who chose to donate to Morning Glory Zell's Legacy Project. Um, but I'm afraid that, once again, I had only one entry. I don't know if that's because people aren't quite getting the instructions, or if it's because people aren't donating to the cause, or if people are donating to the cause but just aren't interested in getting a prize out of it. So, and I can't tell you who that is because this person contacted me on my Facebook page prior to the draw to ask if she could donate but remain anonymous even though she wanted to enter, enter the draw. So there's a real good Samaritan out there. So thank you very much. Congratulations. I will contact you as soon as this broadcast is done. And you can let me know which of the three packages that you want. Um, I offered, um, if you saw my broadcast last, last week, it was either a um, goddess spirituality package, a young goddesses package, or a world mythology package. So, now this week, um, there are other crowdfunding events going on in the Pagan community that I would like to tell you guys about. And the, uh, for the next, I think, 48 hours, Brendan Myers is crowdfunding um, an editor for his fiction series, Fellwater which is, I guess, sort of like American Gods with a specifically um, pagan viewpoint and is also, I guess it's been compared to um, Game of Thrones with its various plots and counterplots and politics. So, sounds really cool. I'm contributing. I'd like to invite you guys to do the same. Um, so that's only for the next 48 hours that that's available or to contribute to. After that, his project is, um, it's, it, the crowdfunder is finished. He made his minimum, but he's still looking for um, additional features that he can do if you contribute to his project. So, here is the URL for that in the chat section here, and I will be including that URL in the video um, on YouTube, so please click on the video link to see where you can go to donate to that project. And after the end of those 48 hours, um, you can also, so either or, you can enter this draw by participating in either contest or, or contributing to either cause. Recently, uh, the Wild Hunt blog posted a crowdfunding link at Plum Fund for an event called Myth Musica which is a pagan music festival being hosted by the Sacred Crossroads Association, which is a nonprofit pagan group, and uh, they're wanting to run this in the fall, and they're asking people to help them crowdfund this. They have several musicians who have agreed to perform to help them with their fundraiser, but they just got to pay their travel expenses. Some of it involves airfare. It's, you know, it can be pricey. Their goal is $7,125, so it's obvious that they've specifically um, researched exactly how much their expenses are going to be. And I am sorry to say that it does not appear to be receiving a lot of good uh, publicity. In 63 days, they have managed to raise $1 from one contributor, and I think that's sad. So, I would like to encourage people to donate to this cause. Um, there are various options. There's a $10 option, there's a $5 option, there's a $1 option, there's a $50 and $100 option, and they're also inviting somebody, if they happen to be wealthy, to just spring for Scott Huckabay to come out to their event. 
guitar alchemist, they describe him as. I'm not familiar with his work, I'm afraid, but I'm sure some of you out there are. So if you would consider contributing to this cause, it's important to support pagan music and it's important to support pagan musicians, I think, then I will also include a link to that in the chat section here and in the video. And that is that link there if you are currently watching. So um, now how this works. Once again, I'll go over the rules. You need to make a donation to one of these two causes. So participate in their crowdfunder. Then you need to tell me you've done so. And that can be done on a variety of places that this video appears. So my Google Plus page, my YouTube channel, my Facebook page, my Twitter, um, my blog, my website, um, my column at Witches and Pagans, or even my column at Patheos, if you happen to be reading that. I'll be delighted to refer to comments there. So all of that, right? All of these are options. But you have to post and tell me that you've done that before I can enter your name into the draw. Um, then at the end of, and I'm not going to do a week this time, I'm going to do a period of a couple of weeks to give people more of an opportunity to enter specific causes. So let's see here. Um, I'll draw this on May the 21st, so the evening of Wednesday, May the 21st, I will be drawing this. Um, and that's uh, Pacific Standard or Pacific Daylight Time. That's my time zone. Um, so yeah, please consider supporting these uh, pagan causes. These are it's important that we support the pagan arts. And then let me know you've done so. Put it on my page. Let me know. Then I can enter your name next time I draw, so the 28th, I'll have a little hat with a little ticket in it, and I'll all have somebody's name on it, and I'll draw a ticket, and I'll tell you who won. The winner will receive one of three book packages, and you get to choose which of the three that you want. You have to pay the shipping. Um, the most recent book package that I gave away turned out to cost $6 to ship in the U.S., so this might give you an idea. It will be a little bit more expensive in Canada. Our rates are higher, and we don't have a special book media rate like the U.S. Postal Service does, which is kind of embarrassing, really, that it'll cost a Canadian more to send something in the States than it, or to send something in Canada than it will to send something in the States. But, um... Be that as may, um, it's uh, it'll probably cost about I don't know ten bucks, eleven bucks if it's parcel rate to send in Canada. Okay, so the options. If this package is not selected by this week's winner, since I offered it up as an option for the contribution to the Morning Glory Zell Legacy Project. Um, then you will receive the mythology package as an option, which I'll show you consists of these books. We have World Mythology, Gods and Goddesses of Classical Mythology, Who's Who in Non-Classical Mythology, Mythology by Edith Hamilton. Uh, this is a classic. I already have a copy of this book, so that's why I'm giving it away. And Celtic Gods and Celtic Goddesses by R.J. Stewart. So, if that package is selected, it will not be available. So, the other two packages are uh, this one I'm calling my Natural Magic Package. Um, natural Magic uh, Potions and Powers from the Magical Garden by John Michael Greer. Empowering Your Life with Natural Magic by Serona Knight. And Natural Magic by Pamela J. Ball. So that's one package. The third package for this available will be the Wiccan Spirituality Package. It includes... The Wicca Book of Days by Selena 
Allied Ash. I don't know, I'm not very good with Gaelic, I'm afraid, one of the reasons why I'm not a druid, but um, this is an excellent book. A friend of mine gave me a copy of this a couple years ago. I've been through it several times, and I really like it. It has, uh, you know, little tidbits about different gods and goddesses, different uh, things about uh, Celtic sacred trees, you know, little tidbits of information, a lot like the stuff that tends to be included in the Witch's Date book. Also part of this package will be Be Blessed, uh, Daily Devotions for Busy Wiccans and Pagans by Denise Dumars. And again, this is an excellent book. I've read it through. I rather enjoyed it. It has practical suggestions for ways to incorporate um, magic and spirituality into your busy life and everyday magic. So that's a good one. Vivian Crowley's Wicca. Um, it's been re-released many times under different or slightly different uh, subtitles. This version is a comprehensive guide to the old religion in the modern world. It's also been released as the old religion for the new millennium. Again, I love this book. I think it's excellent. I already have a copy. So, and the last one I have not read. This is True Magic: A Beginner's Guide by Amber K. Um, I liked her book Coven Craft very much, and so I respect her as an author, and I think you guys might enjoy this book too. So, those are the different options. If you win the package, um, you will get to select which of those will be sent to you if you win. So, I hope you consider supporting the Pagan Arts. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the 28th. Blessed be.